Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mason or Manx here with another video today. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a 3D clan pop-out logo. Now, for this tutorial I'm going to be using my clan's logo, Stranded Empire. And so I just got like two normal, uh, just normal pictures. Hold on, let me find them. There was one, uh, it was a background. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Videos, yeah. Okay. One was a background of just the MW2 map terminal. And the other was a PNG of the 3D. How the other was this. I just started. I just fucked up so bad. Okay. So this is a, just a Call of Duty guy. Whatever. Fuck it. Is. Okay. So, so obviously, since it's going to be the background, put that in the back. Now, you can size it down. Oh, hold on, I rotated it. Okay, so you can size it down to however big you want it, so it can fit the screen. Hold on, let me finish this. And center it. And now, since it's kind of in the background, it doesn't really go with the person, I'm going to use Gaussian Blur, and this is going to blur out the background, so it looks like this, maybe 11, yeah, 11 looks good. Alright, so now, with this guy, we're going to click, well, since I'm on the Windows, hold on. First, you gotta size them down actually to however big you want them inside the logo. You can see like that. That'll probably be good. I think that's about good, yeah. Um. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so if you kinda want like the background to go in the logo, since I'm on Windows, it'll be Control Alt. But I think on uh, Max and stuff, it's uh, Command Alt. So you're gonna do that to the layer. You're gonna click right in the middle. You can hold it while holding Control Alt. So then it'll kind of go into there. I'm gonna kind of lighten the overlay on it. Um. Yeah. Okay. So for the effects for the logo, you can use like Drop Shadow or Outer Glow. I'm gonna use drop shadow here. Um, so this will kind of just make it stand out more from the background. Give it a nice little black drop shadow there. Now, back to the back to the character. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the background and the logo. I'm gonna do control. Well, actually, yeah, okay. Control Alt, and then I'm gonna click right there. Now. So he's inside the logo there, and to make it 3D, now this is like the important part. So I'm going to click Control J, which I think would be Command J on um, Max. Now I'm going to lower the opacity so I can see like kind of where the outline is. And then I am going to erase whatever I don't want to stick out of the logo. So I think I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to keep in, like, the gun and his head part, so. I'm going to erase everything around there. And then. Oh. Alright, well, that one's actually kind of quite easy, but with other ones, you'll just have to like erase like in the edges and stuff like that like for pictures like this is kind of an easy one but see like if you wanted hold on if you didn't want this part right here in you could go around and cut it out like this and then make selection edit cut so there you just have like his head sticking out 
I think I like the gun. I think I like the gun and head out. But it's really up to you. Actually. Um, hold on. Yeah, I like it like that. Maybe, maybe I can actually move it a little so it'll look kind of better and easier to recognize the logo. Um, okay. Oh yeah, I think that looks way better than the other one. Alright, so I can delete that one. So now we just kind of have like the background of it. Um, Alright, so back to the effects on this. Uh, I like to use inner shadow a lot. And that, as you can see, on the inside of the logo, I'll give you a little see there's like nothing around the inside of it and then there's the the shadow um yeah i think that looks good okay uh for stroke i usually do a white stroke but that because i use a black drop shadow and a black stroke just kind of blends in as you can see here so i usually use white which looks pretty good but you could use other colors if you want, obviously. I might use a little tan. Yeah. Maybe take it down one size. Actually, I'll leave it at 3. Well, and the opacity was at 89. Let me fix that. So move the opacity to 100. Now this will be... Now this is, like, time for the text. Here we go. So... I'll just use my name, which is Max. Type that out. Bring the size up. Not too big. It's about good. Uh, now I'm gonna look for a font. Mm. No. Font I think is pretty important in this, so I'd kind of take a while looking for the right font, but just give me a little here. Um, I'm gonna try. Babis new. Yeah, usually when I can't find one, I just go to this font, Babis new, or however you say it. I don't even know, but yeah, I usually use that as like kind of like my go-to font. So here I center it with the rulers, drag them down into the middle, like that. That's what you, that's all you gotta do for them to find the center. Okay. Now, for the text, I usually do an arc, so you write, okay, let me go back to that. So, control T on the text, or command T for Mac users. You're going to right click, and click warp, and then you're going to go up into the top left here, and click on this, and choose arc, and then you're going to drag it down, so it arcs just a little, at least that's how I usually like it. And then you can fool around with the text, put some drop shadow on it, let's see, 100 opacity, mm. maybe 24 size, 15 spread, yeah, uh, usually don't put a stroke on that usually do put a gradient overlay so um, right and then maybe a little better
bevel and then boss. See how it looks. I think it looks pretty good on that. Yeah, I like that. Um, usually that's all the effects I do to the text. Maybe I'm gonna take the drop shadow down a little bit. Well, yeah, I think that's good. Um, okay. So now you kind of have the 3D pop out. You have the background, and you have like your text done. Now, I usually like to make the background, or I like to make the logo and the character stand out more from the background. So I usually go to the background, and I make a new layer of just plain black. I just turn down the opacity a little. Maybe sometimes a little, sometimes a lot. I think for this one I'll do like 60%. Yeah, 60%. Um, yeah, so then there's the logo. Now, there's this effect called Magic Bullet Looks. And you can download that. Just look it up on Google and it'll show up. Um, okay. So, since you can't do like Magic Bullet Looks on all of this, I just save it. This isn't really important if you, if you don't have it, but if you do want to like learn how to make it kind of look like a little more blurry and it gives it kind of a cooler look, then keep watching. So I'd go, to, I'm going to save it in the logo tutorial file as a PNG. I, yeah, I just save as a PNG and a PSD always just in case anything ever goes wrong and I have the PSD okay so now I'm gonna open the picture as a whole so here we go it's all just one layer now I'm gonna go to magic bullet looks now I use chromatic aberration I think is how you say it and as you can see it gives it kind of a funky look and now, just wait for it to load in, you'll be able to tell the difference. And there it is. See, it kind of like, I don't know, kind of messes with your eyes a little bit. Like down here on the text, you can see, I don't know, just kind of, I like it a lot. And a lot of designers use it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And there will be more videos soon.